Hello and welcome. Try solving this problem on your own and then press play and we'll solve it together. Alright, so let's read the problem. A toy rocket is launched from the ground straight upward and the height of the rocket above the ground in feet is given by this equation. H of t equals negative 16t squared plus 64t. And t is the time. Determine the domain for this function. So basically, and let's explain our reason. We've got a rocket. It's launching. Right? And it's going to hit the ground somewhere. So it starts at the ground. That's one root. And then it lands the ground here, the other root. They want to know what's the domain for this function. Right? What is the, range, what is the uh, interval for the x values here? What's the domain? Where does it start? Where does it end? And there's two ways to quickly figure this out. One is to use the algebra and factor. And the other is to probably graph it on the graphing calculator. So I'm going to first solve algebraically. Remember, a root is when the height of the rocket is 0. So this is our height, our output, 0. And that equals negative 16t squared plus 64t. I'm going to factor out negative 16t. It's a common factor. And negative 16t times t is negative 16t squared plus 4. Right? And that equals 0. So negative 16t could equal 0. t plus 4 could equal 0. Either way, you would get a product of 0. So if negative 16t is 0, it's one scenario that gives us a product of 0. The other one is where t plus 4 is 0. Solving for t in both cases, here we subtract 4 from both sides, and um, t is, oops, did I make a mistake? I made a mistake. My mistake is right here. Sorry. It's not plus 4, it is minus 4. Sorry about that. Right, because a negative times a negative ends up being a positive. Right, we need plus 64t. Sorry about that. So negative 16t is 0, and t minus 4 is 0. So t could equal 4 seconds. That's right here. Our root is at 4, 0. At 4 seconds, the rocket is at the ground. And then uh, if we solve for t here by dividing by negative 16, t equals 0. That's at 0 seconds where the rocket starts, the point zero zero. We're not going to include the domain past that, because I guess we have to assume the ground is here and the rocket lands here. Although I don't like that because maybe there's a cliff and the rocket can go below ground level, but we'll, we won't get into that. So we'll assume that the rocket lands here. So our domain, right, our domain is from zero up and through four. And we, could, we should say that this is our starting point and that this is the ground. It hits the ground at four seconds. So you want to say that in words to get full credit. You want to say that this rocket will hit the ground at four seconds and hit the root there, and then it will stop there so the domain does not go any further. Make sure you specify that. And on the graphing calculator, we can do this as well under our um, equation editor here. I'll clear off old equations. Negative 16x squared, same thing as t squared, right? Just x plus 64x. If we graph this thing, oops, I made a mistake. Here I wrote times 64x. We should do plus 64x. So make sure you have the right <laughs> operation. Don't do what I just did. Plus, okay. We graph it. Um, it's kind of it's kind of off our screen. We're not really going to see it because um, it's quite a steep graph, right? So here I'm going to go uh, to zoom and oh, change the window. I'll change the height here. Um, let's just change the y max to 100. Let's see what happens there. See that helps us. And there I get a better picture of my graph. So now if I want to find the roots, I hit, oops, wrong button, second trace. And here I go for my zero values, those are my roots. And it will ask me for a point to the left of the root and a point to the right of the root. I just scroll to the left and right, hit enter, enter. It tells me my first root is zero, zero. Then the second one, second trace, I go to zero again. And now I pick a point to the left and a point to the right of our second root over here. Right, make the calculator do the work for us. Hit enter to the left of it, enter to the right of it, hit enter again, and I get my second root of four, zero. Either way, make sure you state what the domain is and talk about it in the context of the rocket hitting the ground. All right, hope that helped.